Hi guys and welcome to 123 Maya T's video. In this video we will take a look at how to set up screen time on an iPad. Screen time on an iPad is a feature that helps you manage how you and your family use the device. This video will show you how to set up screen time so that it locks your screen and requires a passcode to continue. For example, if you have children, you can set up screen time to lock their device after one hour and require a screen time password to unlock. Let's take a look. To get into screen time, open up settings and then tap on the screen time app. Once you're in there, tap on lock screen time settings and then enter a screen time passcode. This will be the passcode that you don't want your kids to figure out, so make it something hard like your birth year. Okay, so the next step here is to enter your Apple ID account. This is so that if you forget the passcode, you can use your Apple ID to reset it. Cool, so you might get a prompt to save the password. If you are setting this up for your kids, just tap not now. All right, so the next step here is to set up downtime. So go ahead and tap on app and website activity. It will ask you for the passcode you just set up. So enter that now. If you get this prompt, tap on turn on app and website activity. And then after that, tap on downtime. Now I really think they should change downtime and call it bedtime. We are going to set up downtime so that the iPad cannot be used in the middle of the night, for example. So if you have a kid that wakes up in the middle of the night and starts watching their iPad, you can use downtime to stop this. Tap on turn on downtime till tomorrow. Tap on scheduled and then make sure every day is ticked and tap on time. Now enter in your kids bedtimes. So I'm going to enter in 8 p.m. so that my kid can't use the iPad after 8 p.m. And then tap on two and I'm going to set the time to 6 a.m. This means that if my kid wakes up at 6 a.m., which she normally does, she will be able to watch one hour of iPad before the passcode locks her out at 7 a.m. This means hopefully I won't get woken up until 7 a.m. to enter a passcode. Now, you can change these times to whatever is suitable for your lifestyle. Tap on block at downtime and then you're done. Great, now we have configured downtime. The next thing to configure is app limits. App limits will allow you to choose which apps will stop working and which apps will always work. Now, if you wanna block all apps from being used, then just tap on all apps and categories. If you want, you can select whichever categories you want to allow. So if we take the checkbox out of all apps and then we can open up social and select the apps from there if we want to. Tap next and then you can set a time limit. I would recommend setting this to one hour. This means after one hour of use, the iPad will block the apps from being used and you will need to enter the passcode to use the iPad again. For the purpose of this video, I will set this to two minutes and make sure you have block at the end of limit turned on. Cool, so just tap on add and then tap on screen time to go back to screen time. The next option here is called always allowed. You can set up apps to always be available like FaceTime or camera is a good one to allow. Oh, there's our five minute alert that has come up at the top. Cool, that seems to be working now. So let's go ahead and allow an app like the App Store. Why don't we also allow something like the camera so the camera can also always be used as well. All right, so scroll back to the top and tap on screen time. And the next one we wanna take a look at is called screen distance. Screen distance allows you to minimize eye strain by alerting you if you have the screen too close to your eyes. This only works if you have an iPad or iPhone that supports face recognition. Tap on continue to turn it on and then go back to screen time. Scroll down to communication safety. This will help protect kids from sharing sensitive photos and videos and provide age appropriate resources to help them make safe choices. So you can turn this on or off if you wish. Next up is content and privacy restrictions. Turn this on if you want to decide the type of content that appears on your device or on a kid's device. 
You can also block inappropriate content and downloads from here. The last option is to show you if at any time you want to turn off screen time, then just scroll to the bottom and tap on turn off app and website activity. Awesome. If you go back out to your main screen now, you will see that a message on all apps is saying time limit has been applied. If you tap on any app and then tap ask for more time, and then tap enter screen time passcode. Go ahead and enter in your screen time passcode that you set up earlier. That will then give you a few options. Approve for 15 minutes, approve for an hour, or approve for all day. I'm going to approve for one hour. Congratulations, you have now set up screen time on your iPad. And when you go back out to the main screen, you will notice that the app becomes available again. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as how to transfer data from Android to iPhone. Also, do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon.